Hi, and welcome to this episode of The Mojo Moment. I'm Lisa Bowman of Marketing Mojo, and our guest today is Gary Miller of Serve Marketing. Gary, welcome to The Mojo Moment. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. I'm super, super happy to have you. Um, you have done something that I think is really cool, given my background in nonprofit and in marketing. You actually started an agency within an agency called Serve Marketing that serves, no pun intended, the nonprofit sector as a traditional agency would, but making it more affordable and easier for nonprofits to access you. Tell us a little bit about that. How did you come up with the idea? How did you get that started? Well, I'll go one better. Serve actually uh, provides pro bono services to underserved organizations. So um, we're an actual 5013C nonprofit um, operated by the employees of BVK. Um, we give about a million dollars of time and resources away um, to groups, um, mostly in Milwaukee, but some around the country, um, groups that, that uh, other agencies don't want to help. Um, they're the causes that aren't sexy, that aren't well-funded, um, that maybe are controversial. They're, they're the under-the-radar causes, but they need as much help as, as the larger causes. That is such a cool idea. What made you think of doing that? How did you get started? Well, I'd like to say it was my idea. Um, it, it really wasn't my idea. I actually had an epiphany at church. I, I was listening to a sermon. Um, uh, it was in the summer, and uh, the uh, the pastor was was talking about the fact that everybody has a mission in life. All of us uh, have a, a talent or a skill we were meant to share in the service of others. And about um, five or six minutes into that sermon, I quit hearing the sermon. Um, and it was kind of laid out to me what I was supposed to do with the rest of my life, which was to start this nonprofit called Serve, um, to specifically help underserved causes, to give our work away for free, um, uh, and, and help these causes accomplish their mission. So it was all laid out to me then, 18 years ago, um, and we're still we're still going strong today. We've helped <laughs> over a hundred causes. Wow, and you weren't kidding when you said it was an epiphany. It happened in church during a sermon, right? It really was an epiphany. It, it really was. I, I believe that everybody has a mission in life and a purpose, a greater purpose um, to, to use their talents to help people, um, and this is mine. What was one of the campaigns that you worked on that really hit you or really resonated with you? Maybe it was something that was really fun or a cause that you were personally passionate about. Uh, I've had so many, so many incredible causes we've worked on. I think the teen pregnancy prevention campaign we did in Milwaukee is probably the, the biggest campaign. We, we, we've done it for seven or eight years. Um, we've helped reduce teen pregnancy by 52% uh, in the first six years. The campaign was honored by the White House. We kicked it off by actually doing a campaign called the Pregnant Boy Campaign. It got national attention. Um, that's probably the... Uh, the campaign we're best known for, um, but it's had the biggest impact in the community, which is what I'm most proud of. And you use that campaign to actually flip the way that people perceive things, right, by showing pregnant boys as opposed to girls, and really kind of changing the narrative or creating a narrative to get people to talk about it. Well, we, we I, I believe that if you don't do work that's provocative, if you're a nonprofit and you're trying to change a behavior or advocate for healthy ones. The only way to get it to intention with so little funding is to do something bold and provocative. So Milwaukee had the second worst teen pregnancy rate in the country, but nobody cared about it. They, they were the second worst for 20 years. So we knew that we had to make people uncomfortable with their inaction. We had to make the cause impossible to ignore if we were gonna rally a whole community to fight it. So the Pregnant Boy Campaign did just that. That's very cool. Um, do where along the way did you have your mojo moment where you said, oh, you know what? I can do what I do for a bigger purpose. Was it that moment in church where you had that mojo moment? Or was there another time when you were working for a nonprofit, maybe doing a campaign and it really resonated with you that you said, oh, this is it. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Well, it's interesting. The epiphany at church was what actually... Um got me to live out my purpose and mission and, and create serve but i think that my mojo moment actually happened uh a year before that um i was approached by a, a small unknown nonprofit organization called the shaken baby association uh, milwaukee 
had a record number of shaken babies. Um, over a seven month period, 27 babies were shaken. Nobody knew what shaken baby syndrome was. They didn't know how to get the message out to stop it. So um, I, I did a simple radio spot, a 60 second radio spot that we launched during drive time on a Tuesday morning in, in Milwaukee. Um, uh, and when people changed the stations in their cars or at home, it was on every single radio station that they went to. It was, it was called The Message You Couldn't Escape. It generated six and a half hours of TV and radio coverage, specials over a month uh, on shaking baby syndrome. Um, the most amazing thing was after four months, the head of a children's hospital called me and said, you won't believe what happened. We haven't had a child shaken and admitted to the hospital in the past four months. Before that, they were getting a child admitted every single week for seven months. That was my mojo moment where I learned that, that doing nonprofit advertising wasn't just fun and interesting and, and it, it led to help you win awards and gave you a name. It actually impacted people. You, change, you could change people's lives with the messaging that you could create. Um, so so that really, that's really what, what, uh, what started it for me. That's pretty amazing. And as you know, I can relate to that too, right? Having been a nonprofit marketer, I think for us, sometimes it's that work that you do yesterday or today that helps you understand that some person somewhere that you're probably never going to meet is going to have a better tomorrow, right? And you get this very different sense of fulfillment from that. It's great to get the awards. It's great to get the accolades, but it's that more intrinsic sense of I just accomplished something with what I do that makes a difference for a human that I think resonates. It, so, it is, it, it, it changes your whole life. I would tell you the, the, a couple of years ago, I was in a grocery store. I did foster care uh, awareness campaigns for years. And one of the campaigns, we uh, had people stand on their heads that said, turn a life around. And we did flash mobs and different, we had PSAs that, that, um, that use the t-shirt. And I'm in the store and I, and I see a woman with a t-shirt on, the upside down t-shirt says turn a life around. I said, Oh, I, I, I did that camp. And she goes, you did. She walks up, she starts crying. She gives me a hug. Her husband comes up and she said, when we saw this, we realized we had always been thinking about being foster parents. We applied to become a foster parent the next day and they have now fostered five kids. And my campaign, uh, the campaign that we created at serve is, is what led them to do it, which gave them the inspiration to do it. So you, you can't, no better it's feeling, just, right? It's amazing, yep. Yeah, it is amazing. Well, we are almost at time, so I've got just one really quick question for you, which is if you are a nonprofit and you're in need of some help, um, maybe Serve can help you. Where is it that we find you? Uh, you can contact us uh, through Facebook, Serve Marketing on Facebook, Instagram, um, visit our YouTube channel. You can see some of the great work that we have there. Um, Give, give us a visit. Um, we're pretty busy most, a lot of the time. We work, again, with a lot of causes. We share a couple, but we do share our causes around the country. So um, if you see something we've done and you might want to use it in the city you're in, give us a call. Awesome. Gary, thank you so much. We have really enjoyed listening to you today and um, good luck with what you're doing. It's important work. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa.